The Chicago Bears coaching staff needs to make sure they do not do this one very important thing. And trust me, it is important. Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports all back at it with another video talking, of course. It's my NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. Would appreciate a lot if you support the channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All right, let's talk about the one thing that this coaching staff absolutely cannot do and that is overcoach Caleb Williams. Why am I saying that? Because of a recent quote by head coach Matt Eberflus, who was asked about Caleb Williams' second interception in which he threw a pretty tight ball to Roma Dunze that did hit Roma in the hands, but it was double covered, and Roma obviously didn't catch it. It got tipped up, and then it got picked off. So it was a 50-50 ball, and Matt Eberflus was asked about that uh, turnover, and here's what he had to say, and I quote, I think it was an aggressive throw. I really do. I think he was open. But again, those windows closed in the NFL. The safe option would have been taking the back in the flat in that particular case. We went through the motion and they ended up shifting their coverage over there. So on that particular play, again, aggressive throw. He's got to have some wisdom there and discernment in terms of when he needs to make that throw. You never want to take away his aggressiveness. But he has to be really good with the football. That's his number one job as a quarterback, end quote. All right, that scares the bejesus out of me because that tells me that the biggest thing Matty Brafus overvalues is not turning the football over in a quarterback. And yes, while that's very important here, please, when you drafted an absolute gunslinger at quarterback, do not hold him back and overcoach him to only not make turnovers. When you're a quarterback, interceptions are going to happen, all right? DBs in the NFL are just too good. Defenses are just too good in general. And you want to be able to be put in a position where the interceptions are possibilities because, honestly, some of your receivers are guys that are good with 50-50 balls. And sometimes it goes their way, sometimes it doesn't. It happens to the best of them. So to me... I don't want them to turn Caleb Williams into a, a game manager who doesn't turn the football over. Like, that's not what Caleb is. Caleb is going to let it rip, all right? And you have to let Caleb let it rip, all right? That's what made Brett Favre so great. That's what makes Josh Allen great. You get some of the turnovers, but that's fine because the good outweighs the bad. Not every interception's equal, right? If you are throwing an interception on third down and it's basically the equivalent of a punt, what did you really lose there, right? So it's it's essentially things that you have to weigh here, but man, oh man, this is the problem with having a defensive head coach coaching a young offensive, young quarterback instead of an offensive mind coaching the young quarterback because all he wants Caleb to do is just not turn the football over. Well, you don't want Caleb to play scared. You want him to be himself. That's what kind of ruined Justin. They overcoached him. So please, Matt Eberflus, do not overcoach this kid. Shane Walter, do not overcoach this kid. One of the good things that I've liked about Shane Waldron has been the fact that he is not putting training wheels on Caleb Williams. He's given him full command of the offense, and he's letting him let it rip. Now, the play calling has been terrible. <laughs> the calls haven't been great. But at least they're not babying him all the time and saying all you get to do is throw, you know, these five-yard flats, right? Or uh, we're, we're not going to let you see the entire field. You only see half the field. No, they're letting him make big boy throws and he's doing it. So that's what you need to do, man, because that's how you win in the NFL. I do not want to do this whole thing again where we're winning because of our defense and our run game and, you know, our quarterbacks not turning the football over. Like, that's just not as sustainable in today's NFL. So please do not overcoach this kid, all right? Don't do it. Don't do it. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that, man. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts as always. Thanks for watching.